Hi friends, welcome to EduTabs. So welcome to this marathon series for IBPS AFO 2019-20. So this is lecture number 5 wherein we are going to have a quick look at some of the important MCQs taken from the livestock census. This is part 2 and it's just going to be 5 to 10 minutes of lecture and uh, the questions are very simple but if you know these questions and if you get these questions in the examination it's going to be fairly simple for you to score these points, right? So first talking about the course offerings of EduTab uh, with regard to AFO for 2019-20. So there are three kinds of courses. The first one is a complete test series wherein for phase one you get 10 full length mock tests. For phase two there are sectional tests as well as full length tests. When you talk about the second kind of a course it's a combination of phase one and phase two. In phase one obviously 10 full length mock tests. Phase two for each chapter there's going to be a concept video. There's going to be a content sheet, summary sheet, worksheet and MCQs. We are also be going to cover the current affairs right. Then the third kind of a course is only phase two right wherein you do not get 10 full length mock test for phase one so this is the three these are the three courses that we offer so currently we are running a 15 percentage of on all these courses to avail the same kindly use the coupon code AFO15 right okay so the dates of the examination should be known so that we can structure our preparation accordingly so the prelim examination is going to be held on 28th of December 2019 and 29th of December 2019 and the mains examination is going to be held on 25th of Jan 2020 right so we have time available provided we strategize it properly right so today's coverage so as I told you here it should be lecture 5 I'm really sorry for the miss so as I told you that we're going to be covering livestock census in the previous lecture also we had dealt with five questions five to eight questions and in today's lecture again five questions are going to be referred so uh, livestock census is released by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare the specific department being Department of Animal Husbandry Dairying and Fisheries right so as you can see that livestock census is covered periodically since 19, 1920 and till now 19 such census have been covered. So we are having a look at important data points taken from the latest census which is the 19th one. The 20th one is on its way. We still do not have the data published for it, right? So let's begin with the first question today friends. So as per the livestock census 2012, which of the following states in India has the highest share in percentage of poultry population? Okay. So the answer for this particular question friends, it is Andhra Pradesh, right? Very simple. You can see here a bar diagram, right? So you can see Andhra Pradesh leading uh, the chart, then followed by Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. So basically the southern and the western states take the lead when you talk about the share in the poultry population, right? So this is important. Keep in mind, this can be a probable question. Next, which of the following is the correct order of the percentage share of animals in milk? Okay, so the answer for this particular question, the first category, the uh, buffalo and goat, they stand equal. Okay, then talk, coming next is indigenous cattle and then you have exotic or crossbred cattle, right? So here you can see the pie chart drawn. Okay, so you can clearly see that these two categories have the same percentage share of animals in milk. Okay, that is nothing but goat and buffalo, right? So friends, again, these kind of questions can be expected. So it will just take you five minutes to memorize these questions. Okay, as I'm reading, you can then and there pause the video, memorize it and your work is done, right? So the third question here, which of the following is the per capita availability of milk in 2017-18? So guys, this is the latest uh, data which is available as per this particular census, right? So we will be referring this. So the answer for this particular question, it is 375 grams per day. Again, this can be a probable question. So here you can see that this is a screenshot that we have taken from National Dairy Development Board's website. Okay. So here per capita availability of milk by states is given. So here you can see all India. So 375 grams per day. Here it is last one. Okay. 1718. Okay. The next question friends, which of the following is the per capita availability of eggs in India in 2016-17? Again, as per this 19th livestock census this is the latest data that is available with us. The answer for this particular question, friends, it is 69 X per annum. Okay, so again, very simple, nothing much to understand. Just you need to buy hard these figures. But again, if you just spend these five minutes, this can make a lot of difference in your end result, right? The next question, friends, it is which of the following is the total livestock population in India as per the 19th livestock census in million numbers? Okay, the answer is 512.05. 
so here you can see here the total livestock population which consists of again cattle buffalo sheep goat pig horses ponies mules donkeys camels mithun yak it is it's yak it is 512.05 million numbers in 2012 okay so when you compare it with the previous census there's a decrease in 3 by 3.33 percentage okay and the livestock population has seen an increase substantially in the states of gujarat uttar pradesh assam okay so these are some of the pointers that you can keep in mind so friends we also get queries regarding the 20th livestock census let me tell you that 20th livestock census has been initiated okay in the year 2018 itself but the data has not been published yet okay so when with regard to the examination this is the latest data that is available with us so with these two lectures yesterday's like um, in this week we had come out with a lecture on thursday and today's lecture we are done with the important pointers from livestock census 19th livestock census okay so friends if you have any doubts you can just go to our website to have a look at the course features www.edutab.co.in the email id is also there you can drop us a mail with your query hello at the rate edutab.co.in you can give us a call on 8146207241 so till then friends thank you so much for watching and as usual happy learning